A proposal to raise rents for people living in low-income housing met with anger and confusion in Albany's South End. You say, um, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. First of all, give me boots to pull myself up. Willie White is the director of A Village, a community group with offices in the Lincoln Square apartments. How can you justify that? There's no logic behind that whatsoever. White opposes the Make Affordable Housing Work Act, put forward by Housing and Urban Development Secretary Ben Carson. We are already struggling, right? In a conference call with reporters, Carson said the current system discourages work and is financially unsustainable. The way we calculate the level of assistance to our families is convoluted and creates perverse consequences, such as discouraging these families from earning more income and becoming self-sufficient. Teresa Kaur says that argument makes no sense. It's hard to find jobs. We're struggling to get jobs. That's why we're in the predicament that we're in now. If approved by Congress, the proposal would raise the percentage of income poor tenants are required to pay from 30 to 35 percent. That means public housing renters in Albany, Schenectady, and Troy could see a hike of more than $60 each month, according to an analysis done by the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities provided to the Associated Press. How are we going to live? Verna Huggins says she'd be forced to cut essentials from her budget. For when we go shopping, we can't get soap powder or toilet tissue. You take your money away from the people that really want to go get their hair done. The proposal would also allow housing authorities to introduce work requirements and increase the minimum rent from $50 to $150 per month. Elderly and disabled renters would be exempt. Carson calls it a way out of poverty. White says it's the opposite. You're going to drive more homelessness. We, we're suffering from homelessness in this city already. In Albany, Terry Stackhouse, Spectrum News.